not only did they get vandalized in the overnight hours of Friday, but they came back and got vandalized again in the overnight hours of Sunday. Twice in 48 hours, the Ypsilanti Meals on Wheels was targeted by vandals, says President and CEO Barbara Nice May. The first was basically just some broken windows and we saw some rocks around and then when they came back, they found bigger rocks and did a lot more damage, which really impacted our ability to get meals out on Monday. Four of their seven vehicles destroyed. Once windshields get damaged to a certain point, the, all the electrical around it got damaged. Um, they climbed up on top of one of the vans and dented the roof of a van. She says they were able to rent vans to deliver foods to households that day. They typically do 300 homes, but it's all around costing them. Approximately $17,000 once we take into consideration our deductible, um, what insurance may or may not cover, the rental vans, and in addition to that, um, just you know, some ancillary costs related to it. These past few days have been difficult. $17,000 is a lot of money, but she says the silver lining in all is seeing the community community rally around them. It's really touching when we see people that aren't necessarily in our orbit giving $25, $50, just saying we're so sorry this happened to you. She says folks around town got all the vans towed for them free of charge and have been inquiring about how they can help because she'd ultimately like to build a garage to prevent this from happening in the future. She's grateful for their concern and as for the people responsible, she hopes police catches them, but hopes ultimately that they heal. I've seen the power of restorative justice. I've seen the power of working with young people for them to understand the impact of what happened. In Ypsilanti, Lauren Edwards, Fox 2 News.